This example shows how to create a print that feels like a real texture. There are two files to create, the image and the texture itself. The final print will be a three layer printed with the image, a white flood, and the texture file. I've created a file with a wood grain pattern and now I want to emulate that texture in the final print so it feels like real wood. So now I'm going to go to the original wood grain image I used and convert it to a black and white image. The goal is to create a high contrast file with maximum ink lay down. So go to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. You can use the default preset or you can choose one of the filters below to help create more contrast in the file you are using. When you are satisfied with the image, click OK. Now go to Image, Adjustment, and Levels. We will use the Levels palette to create even more contrast. The more contrast, the more touchable texture. Black will be the highest point, in other words, what you will feel the most, and white will be the lowest. Once you are done, click OK. To get the most ink laid down, we will copy and paste the file into a new white ink channel. This gives us a file with 100% black and 100% white ink to create the feelable texture. Click on the Channels palette and go to Select All. Now we want to copy the image and create a new spot channel. Click OK. Paste the image into the new white ink channel. Now we have an image that has 100% white ink and 100% black ink for maximum ink lay down. Save this file as the bottom file. This file will be ripped in a white ink environment and printed first on the substrate. Then print a white flood and then your image on top. 